Okay, so there's my carrot bed that I'm working on moving and the cold frame. You can see I already took most of the soil out of the cold frame. Um, I'm just going to try to move it as it is. And then I put some of that soil over here and the rest is in the wheelbarrow there. Um, you can see where I, some of the carrot plants that I uh, dug out to transplant were. So it's kind of a pain that I have to do this, but I do understand that I got too close to the, the meters here. So, you know, just another challenge that I'll have to uh, take on and figure out how to overcome. Um, but over here, I've got my, my garlic. I put all these in during the, in the fall. Um, I think in early November is when I put them in. And they started to sprout in early March, around the time I first started working on the garden this year. And I'm real happy with them. Um, so, I was about to get excited. I thought I saw a scape on one of these, but it was just this, gar this uh, leak. Um, but yeah, another month or so, they should, uh, they should be ready to harvest. Here are the uh, the kitchen scraps, the leeks and the green onions from the cold frame. And then there's some of the carrots that are transplanted. This is one of my uh, favorite of the raised beds. And you can see how I made these raised beds out of, uh, out of pallets. Um, you know, these are the sides of, of shipping pallets, and then basically I rip all the boards off, nail, tack them back down, um, take a third of the pallet for each end, and there's a pallet underneath that I just put all the soil on top of. Um, I'm working on more efficient and better designs as I build these. You can see this one. Um, this one I did actually I did have to buy the lumber for the vertical supports and this corrugated plastic. Um, I usually try to avoid buying as much as I can, um, but this one I just needed to get those couple pieces. Here are some of the windows that we salvaged that I was using for my greenhouses. So these just rest like that. And they rest on this uh, this lip that I put on there, and there's one up there. And then with four of those windows, I can enclose this entire bed. So that was real handy for helping me to get get an earlier start the season. And mo I have mostly brassicas in here, some uh, broccoli, some cabbage. These are the, uh, the heads of cabbage I got from the store. And then some Brussels sprouts and some cauliflower. And the uh, celery that we regrew from kitchen scraps. There I have a small pallet bed with uh, beets and spinach in there. This has not really been doing too well. I was thinking that I killed all of these, but they have shown a little bit of promise in the past week or so. So, you know, maybe maybe I didn't kill them, but we'll see. I think I uh, this is I've never grown beets or spinach before, so I think I made a few mistakes. Uh, in the process with those, didn't get them started early enough, started them indoors and didn't move them outdoors soon enough. So that's uh, been a little bit disappointing there. But because they're pretty uh, cold hardy, I'll get, the, get another crop of those planted uh, for the fall. Here are my, my squashes. Um, this side is mostly uh, spaghetti squash. You can see this one 
It starts all the way back here and is coming up onto the edge, running along the edge of the pallet now. This one over here actually goes all the way to the end here and across. Um, this one is a zucchini that got mixed in with the spaghetti squash. And then there's this one that goes all the way up over there. And I'll have to look back at the pictures um, and see what the dates were on the, uh, basically see how, what the progression has been. But I feel like it was only a week ago that this one was still down in here. And this one was still way over around there. So these guys have really taken off and I've been real happy with them. Here are my zucchini, and I've got two more blooms this morning. So, real happy about that. So that's uh, four blooms that I've had so far on the zucchini. Um, that is, this plant bloomed yesterday, and then this one, these are two more on this plant, and there was one bloom on here two days ago, you can see down there. This is my ground bed. Got one cabbage, from a purple cabbage that we got at the store there. We got a couple more cabbage seeds planted, but they haven't sprouted yet. And really, they should have sprouted by now, so I'm not sure if they're gonna, if those seeds germinated or not. There's some more uh, carrots down here. This is, uh, I built this chicken wire fence. Um, all the posts are basically either pallet wood or other uh, pieces of wood that we already had lying around. Um, so I only bought the chicken wire for this. So far this, this tall fence has seemed to work out. Um, I've got my basil there. Some more squashes here. Now I can't actually say what these squashes are because uh, I had everything in a, a cheap plastic greenhouse from, uh, from Aldi and we get a lot of wind around here and the greenhouse blew over so all the all these squashes got mixed up. I had them like labeled in like cardboard flats and then they all fell on the ground and so I don't know these are some some I think are acorn and butternut squash and there's a couple others but basically these are all mystery squash now. And then over there is one of my uh, sweet potatoes. You can see how I mulch these mounds with the grass clippings. And the same with these beds over here. Uh, this, I'm not sure if this, if these made it onto the video uh, last night. Um, when I was talking about these is around the time that I got disconnected um, the one time but this is just a tote that I drilled some holes in and then I've planted some sweet potatoes in there I've got four of my earliest sweet potato slips planted in there and then this is a crate that I built out of pallet wood that doesn't have a bottom so when it's time to harvest, I can just lift the crate up and, um, and then just dig through the soil that's left um, to harvest the sweet potatoes. And I've got two sweet potato slips planted in here. This one, this little one, this is the one that I plucked last night on the video. Um, and then I planted them, planted them last night um, after we got, we got off the call. Something that I forgot to mention last night when I did that is you are supposed to plant your sweet potato slips in the evening. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that worked out that I was able to do that. And then the air beds, I think you all were able to see the air beds last night. So 
So this is just a quick look around the garden. Um, I also have this raspberry bush here. We I planted this last year, and it's really taken off this year. Um, and I do have a few flowers developing on it. So I think I might get a couple of berries this year. Not too many. Not anywhere near enough, but I think it'll be a start. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tour of the garden slash, uh, slash update. Um, if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And check back again for more updates in the garden, see how my plants are progressing, see what other systems of resiliency I've been able to work in around here. Um, I'm just always trying to experiment and grow not only food, but also grow myself and just learn more ways to do things and more, more systems that I can incorporate around here. So check back and I'm sure there'll be more interesting things in the, in the weeks to come. Thanks for checking out the video.